every rocket that launches passes through a point called max Q. It is the maximum mechanical stress on the physical rocket, and it's one of the most dangerous parts of any launch. The best way to think about this is if you were to stick your hand out the window of a moving vehicle, which you shouldn't do, it's not safe, don't do it, but if you did, the faster the car is going, the faster your body is also moving. That means the faster your hand is smashing into the air molecules that it's coming up against. The more air molecules that your hand is smashing into, the greater the pressure they are exerting on your hand, and the more you're going to have to work to keep your hand out straight and not flapping back to the side. So let's obviously take the Saturn V as an example. Around eight kilometers or five miles, the rocket hit Mach 1, which is the speed of sound. The air was getting less dense, but the rocket was still speeding up, slamming into those air molecules and forcing more of that pressure onto the rocket's body. The maximum buildup of the air hitting the rocket came at about 14 kilometers or 8.5 miles. This is max Q and why it's so dangerous is that if there's any structural issue with that rocket at all, it is likely going to show up at max Q. And if it does, it could be catastrophic. Someone emailed me recently and asked if Apollo missions went through max Q on the way back to Earth and whether there were stresses on the spacecraft at this point. And I'm not sure about the stresses on the spacecraft. I haven't been able to find a really good answer to that one yet. but. Yes, there was max Q on reentry as well. And I think, and I'm not sure on this one yet, so please take this bit with a grain of salt, but because it was just the reentry module, just that gumdrop shaped spacecraft that was designed to fall through the atmosphere and didn't have as many moving parts at that point, you know, externally, like the skin, that it was probably less susceptible to dynamic pressure than the launching rocket. But again, still researching that bit. But anyways, max Q is cool.